Hey kids, welcome back. I'm Mr. Carlos. We're here on the Hope Campus, right here in the Hope Studio. Why don't you kids introduce yourselves? Hi, my name is Xavier. Hi, my name is Hayden. It was fun learning about harmony, but now we are moving on to the Driven series, which focuses on what's inside matters most. Be truthful with your whole life. That's right, kids. And that leads us to our virtue of this month, which is integrity. Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. All right, kids, what do you say we do next? Off, Off your seats, seats and on your feet. Yeah, yeah let's, let's worship. Why would I worry? You never show a play and you don't make mistakes. I'm not in a hurry. That was awesome. Now, let's sit back down, relax, and it's time for our story, where we'll be learning more about integrity and what's inside matters most. It's time for what, kids? The story before the story. So today we're in the book of Luke. When God sent Jesus as a baby, angels announced his birth. But for most of his life, Jesus lived quietly and faithfully, loving God and loving others. Around the time Jesus was 30 years old, he came to the Jordan River. God's voice spoke from heaven, you are my son and I love you. I am very pleased with you. Soon after, Jesus began to travel from town to town, teaching and healing. He chose a group of friends to share life with him and everything Jesus said and did. He showed people what God is like. And over and over, he pointed out that mo what's on the inside matters most to God, which is where our story starts. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Terry. In today's story, things are gonna get a bit thorny. Jesus had just chosen his 12 closest friends to help him, him in his words. And when he came down from the, the mountain with them, a big crowd had gathered around. People had come from all over to hear him and be healed. Jesus did make uh, many people well, but he knew even more than their bodies. It was the people's hearts that needed the help most. So Jesus began to teach them many things. A good tree doesn't bear bad fruit, and a bad tree doesn't bear good fruit. Well, that makes sense, right? I mean, if you go up to a nice healthy apple tree and pick one, but if you find a tree that looks uh, a little dried up and weak and, and pick some fruit from it. Your stomach's not gonna like it. Probably not. Jesus cont continued, on to say. You can tell each tree by the kind of fruit it bears. People do not pick figs from thorns, and they don't pick grapes from bushes. In the time of Jesus, figs and grapes were, were super important part of what people ate. Figs represented peace and prosperity, and grapes stood for joy and celebration. Finding a good a grapevine or a fig tree was a big deal at the time. But when Jesus and his friends walked the dusty roads, they would have seen other plants too, including thorny, bushy, hedge groves, and fig trees choked out by brambles. Probably not any good grapes or figs on one of those branches. No, probably not. It quickly became clear to the crowd though that Jesus was talking about more than just trees and vines. A good man says good things. These come from the good that is stored up in his heart. An evil man says evil things. These come from the evil that is stored up in his heart. A person's mouth says everything that is in their heart. A healthy apple tree produces good fruit, and an unhealthy tree grows bad fruit. They do it without even trying, and we're just the same. If we are in a healthy place connected to Jesus, good things will come out of us. Our words and actions will reflect Jesus and be encouraging and helpful to others. But when we try to make it on our own, we get more and more stressed out and grumpy. Like an unhealthy tree grows rotten fruit, our words and actions are more likely to spew out and hurt the people around us. 
Who you are and how you're doing inside will always come out. You might be able to cover up the, and pretend everything's great for a while, but eventually the pressure of trying to keep it together will just be too much. You'll end up saying and doing hurtful things, even if you don't mean to. So clearly we want to be this and not that, all right? Here's the good news. You get to choose which kind of tree you want to be. I'm the vine. You are the branches. If you remain joined to me and I to you, you will bear a lot of fruit. You can't do anything without me. Boom! There it is. That's the key. Like a branch has to be connected to the vine or a tree trunk to survive, we're designed for a connection to Jesus. And when we're regularly learning more about Jesus and talking with them, things start to change inside. Over time, we become like good branches, growing trees and growing good fruit. Now, being a good tree does not mean that you'll never say or do something hurtful, but it does mean that most of the time, your words and actions will be loving. And where you mess up, you can make it right to Jesus. Just ask for help. And when you follow Jesus, you can be confident that you will become a good tree, growing good fruit, the end. So what's our part in the story? Well, it starts with a choice. You don't live with integrity by accident. The journey begins by choosing to follow Jesus and then stay connected to Him. And there are a lot of ways you can you, to do that. So true. One of the best ways is to read or listen to scripture about the things Jesus did and said. Like, I love your enemies and don't worry about tomorrow. Let your light shine before others and my grace is all you need. And my power is the strongest when you are weak. Yep, that's just the start. You can also spend time talking with Jesus in prayer, just like you talk with a friend. Yeah, and that means listening too. When you take time to be still, Jesus might give you a word or feeling, or just a sense that he's there. There's nothing you can do that will ever make him love you less. And when you stay connected to Jesus, you can be truthful with your whole life. So here's the thing, kids. We want to be good trees that bear good fruit. That's right. And Jesus wants us to stay connected to him. Remember, Jesus is focused on what's in the inside. So do what's right, because that's integrity. Awesome. That was great. Mr. Terry, can you pray for us? All right, guys. Let's bow our heads and let's pray now. All right? Father God, we just come before you. We give you thanks for for being who you are. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who comes down, who is that branch, Father, that, uh, and we are the branches of that, that we uh, can be in him constantly. And as we are in Jesus, our, our bodies will, will grow within him, and then we can produce good fruit for, for you, Lord, because we give you the glory of everything that we do. So I thank you for the lesson today, Father, and I thank you for the kids that are watching this. And let them know that they are the branches and they are the vines that uh, will produce good fruit from here on out. Thank you, and we love you. I say this in your son's precious name, amen. Amen. It's been fun having you guys with us today, and join us next week to learn more about creative ways to learn God's way to love others. See you next time. Have an amazing week. All right, Goodbye. bye guys.